Learning that there are more ways of thatching a roof than the one grandfather used are some of the rural craftsmen of modern Britain. Along with other old country skills, the art of thatching is being brought up to date by experts from the government-sponsored Rural Industries Bureau. Here near Colchester and Essex, a straw roof is removed and a more durable material, Norfolk reed, is used to replace it. Collected from the Norfolk marshes, the reed is sent ready bundled to every part of the country and in many cases nowadays is replacing the straw thatch used since olden times. The reed is tougher and stands up to the weather better so that a roof made from it will last up to a hundred years in comparison with straw's short life of 25 to 30 years. Teaching the other master thatchers how to lay the new material is Bureau Officer Fred Cooper, the man in the Trilby hat. The bundles are stapled into position with thatching hooks which are hammered through the reed into the rafters of the house. Completely different from the way straw roofs are laid, a process called yielding, which involves much packing and wetting, this method of laying Norfolk reed makes for a more permanent fixture. When in position, the bundles are dressed off with a legget, a wooden head spiked with horse nails. Hazel rods or spars are cut on the spot. Used to keep the ridge capping in place, they are crisscrossed to make a pretty pattern on top of the roof. Finally, the jagged edges of the reeds are cut off and the thatch is complete. Not only easier on the eye, but more practical than slate or brick roofs, thatch keeps a house warm in winter and cool in summer. Far from dying out, thatching is an ancient craft being kept abreast of the times to meet with the ever-increasing demand in Britain. It's just another example of the way modern methods applied to old crafts come out on top.